Knockout space is defined as any area that is created using negative space. This negative space is where the color of your garment will show through. For example, this smiley face's eyes, nose, and mouth are the color of the shirt showing through the black ink printed around it. If the knockout space is not at least two points, it may fill in with ink during the printing process. This may also occur between closely spaced letters or when thin lines are placed closely together in a design. To check your knockout space, create a two-point line using the pen tool. See if the line will fit within or between any knockout areas in your image. If it doesn't, your image will need to be adjusted. Oftentimes, advanced editing techniques will be required to fix your art, and in these cases, a professional graphic artist may be needed. With that said, here are a few easy techniques that you may find useful when preparing your art for printing. If your knockout issues are caused by objects being too close together, simply move the objects further apart to ensure there is at least two points between them. We drew a two-point blue line here for reference. Here, we select the circle with the selection tool and nudge it slightly to the left using the left arrow key. If your art contains holes or areas where the original garment color will show through, you may be able to simply enlarge the holes using the scale tool. The nose of the smiley can be easily fixed by selecting it with the group selection tool and resizing it in this manner. Some objects cannot be scaled without distorting the design. This is true of the smiley face in the design because it is thin and making it large enough to meet the art requirements will distort it. Other times, an object will be so complex and contain so many small areas that it is impractical to resize them all. For these instances, the following technique may help. Note that this technique only works well with single color designs and will not work with all designs, especially with those that also contain thin elements. Select the design using the Selection tool now add a thin stroke using a color that contrasts with the color in your original design. This colored portion will soon be subtracted from your design to create a thicker knockout space. Adjust the point size of the outline until all areas will have at least two point of knockout. We drew a two point blue line here for reference. Now go to Object and Expand to turn the colored areas into fill. Go to your Pathfinder palette and click Trim. This will remove all of the black behind the blue. Now switch to the Magic Wand tool to select all blue in the design and press Backspace to delete these elements. Your design should now have proper knockout although you may wish to edit areas that have been altered too much. For example, a side effect of this activity shrunk the head of the smiley slightly, so I'll enlarge it slightly using the scale tool. This technique may also make some lines in your image fall below the one point minimum line thickness rule, so be sure to check for this possibility as well. See the fixed fonts that are unprintable in Adobe Illustrator video for information about fixing knockout issues that commonly occur with fonts. To review, be sure all knockout in your design is at least two points. Try using a combination of expanded stroke and the trim tool to enlarge knockout areas in your design. Pro World Custom. Produce your own custom transfers at pwcustom.com.